Hi, my name is Mrs. Tidwell. I am one of the instructional coaches here in Coppell. I am going to be leading you through your spelling this week. The type of spelling we are going to do is called Show Me Spelling. You may be familiar with this or it may be something new. I am going to tell you how we are going to do this. When we are doing this, it may look like a spelling test, but I promise you it is not. This is an activity to learn how to spell. You are going to need paper, a pen, or colored pencil if you have one. If all you have is a pencil with an eraser, that is fine. But if you do have access to a pen or a marker, that would be preferred because when we do show me spelling, we actually don't erase anything when we make a mistake. So if you don't have a piece of paper or something to write with, then please pause the video and go get that now. If you do have paper, please number your paper 1 through 10, just like I have done here. You can always pause if you need to. Now what is going to happen is I'm going to ask you to spell the word the best you can next to each number. After you spell it, I'm going to show you how to spell the word, but I want you to first attempt it on your own and see if you already know how to spell it. Always spell the best that you can. For word number one, please spell apples. The family picked apples from the tree. Apples. So on your paper right now, you have written how you think you spell the word apples. Here is the word apples spelled correctly. If you spelled the word correctly, then awesome, you know how to spell the word apples. If you did not spell it correctly, I need you to take your writing utensil and cross out the entire word you wrote and copy how to spell it correctly next to it. It is very important that you don't just cross out the part of the word you misspelled, but I want you to cross out all of it and write the word correctly next to it. What that will do is help imprint it on your brain that that is how you spell the word correctly from start to finish. For word number two, please spell simpler. Out in the country is a simpler way to live. Simpler. This is how you spell simpler correctly. Number three, puzzles. Sally added the 100 piece to her new collection of puzzles. Puzzles. This is how you spell the word puzzles. Number four, sparkles. The firework sparkles in the sky. Sparkles. This is how you spell sparkles correctly. Number five, twinkles. A cozy log cabin twinkles with light. Twinkles. This is how you spell twinkles correctly. Number six, settler. The pilgrim settler built a log cabin. Settler. This is how you spell the word settler. Number seven, startled. His voice, his voice startled her. Startled. This is how you spell the word startled. Number eight, littler. Your sister is littler than you. Littler. This is how you spell the word littler. Number nine, battles. The boy battles his sister in a game of chess. Battles. This is how you spell the word battles. Number 10, middle. Monkey in the middle is a fun game to play at recess. Middle. This is how you spell the word middle. Sometimes these words have a rule that they have in common. This week, the rule is final stable syllables. Another day this week, you will have another list that will look a little similar to this. I hope you have a great rest of your day, fourth grade.